Good evening, Comfort Killer. Stacey A. Cross here. There's no E in my name. In this video, we are going to talk about spotting naysayers and how to crush their gloom, how to crush their spirits, how to crush their energy because, hey, you don't need that in your life. Hey, I'm the author of this amazing book here and founder of The Comfort Killers, Your Journey to Success, How to Change Your Life Using Tools You Already Have. Jump on thecomfortkillers.com right now and get yourself a copy of this book. Things that I'm saying right now in this video today to help you out, to give you that armor, to give you that juice, to give you that confidence so you can know how to spot them, check them, and keep it moving. That's all you need to do. Sometimes you don't even need to check them. You just need to spot them and keep it moving. So I want you to get this book because in the book, I give you some awesome practical ways on how to boost and shift your mindset to overcome anything and live the life of your dreams, whatever it is, or just dominate your goals. So today, five ways, five ways, how to spot a naysayer, how, how, well, how do they look? What are they saying? You know, so here's what we're going to do. First, the, the first and foremost is we're going to define what a naysayer is. And a naysayer, this is straight from dictionary.com. And I'm sure straight, let's get the, let's get the Merriam-Webster because I just love Merriam-Webster better. Um, let's go here. It says here, one who denies, refuses, opposes, or is skeptical or cynical about something. That Merriam-Webster is actually a better one than what I was just going to say, but this is awesome. One who denies, refuses, opposes, or is skeptical or cynical about something. So... There are always naysayers who say it cannot be done, and that's what we're going to talk about. So this first reminds me, there was a couple of days ago, but it's been on my mind, and I was like, man, I got to tell my people because this thing is live in the flesh here, and I want to show you some points, and maybe you could spot them out too in this story that I'm going to tell you on how I came across the biggest naysayer in a real estate workshop in an event. As you know, in Pennsylvania, I am licensed realtor and, you know, with all my friends around nudging me, I'm like, yeah, let's get into real estate. Let's make this happen. So I'm doing my due diligence and, and doing my research the way one should, you know, in real estate. Shout out to my boy Thelonious C. Jones. So I went with a, my mentor actually went, went to this event. It was like six of us. We're sitting in the front row getting the feed and, you know, it's a free event. So let's just put that out there. It's a free event. We went there and the information is so valuable. We love this information. We're like, he's looking at it. Like everybody's brain is going like this. Like how could we really use the tools here and build this business behind real estate? How could we come together? This is how we're looking at it. six of us. Like how could we come together and really utilize these tools that, that are being offered here? But of course, you know, it's a free seminar. So what happens in a free seminar? Well, you have to buy the product. You have to buy the program. You have to buy the, 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 the advanced training. It just goes like that. You go to um, college, right? You don't sit in a free class. You sit in the introductory 101 class that has maybe two credits and you pay for that. Okay. So you go to college, you don't expect that information. You pay for that information. You pay for those professors there. You pay for the knowledge. You pay for the experience and you pay for that piece of paper that you get at the end of your four years, at the end of your two years. It's a known. All right. You go inside a Walmart, you know, you need that coat. Okay. You don't go inside a Walmart says, Hey, let me try that coat. All right. And, uh, I'll bring it back when, well, maybe some people, <laughs> maybe some people do, but Hey, listen, let me try that coat. No, you go and you purchase that coat. So if you want the value, if you want that something, if you want that exchange, it, it, there is going to be an exchange. Sometimes the exchange is effort time, you know, which is the highest range of ex exchange, but other times it's money and then you're going to have to pay that money. Then you're going to have to do the work. Okay. No one here is saying that when you get into personal development, when you, when you buy even one of my pro programs and I have a 30 day, <clears throat> 30 day masterclass on building your mindset program. And it goes from everything from priorities and time management to water intake and to, you know, changing your circle and to getting out of your comfort zone and to really planning your day and using technology. Like it goes through this whole thing for 30 days and it's, it's, it has a cost to it. Because if you really want to take yourself to the next level, you got to have some skin in the game. You got to invest in yourself. And I tell my people, thank you. Cause right now you're investing in yourself. Even though this is a video on YouTube, it's a free video on YouTube. 
I'm giving that to you, but what are you giving me in return? You're giving me your attention. You're giving me your your appreciation, and I and I and I uh, appreciate that. And you're giving me your trust, and I trust you. So if you like this information, I trust that you're going to take the next step. Maybe get this book. This is a you know on my website it ranges from twenty to twenty nine dollars to thirty dollars because I'll sign it for you. Or you're gonna go get one of my programs, affirmation programs. It's all on thecomfortkillers.com. But that's you taking this further. Okay, no one is. Is, is putting anything to your head, to your neck and saying, hey, you gotta do this. This is for you. If you wanna invest in yourself, if you continually wanna grow, then I'm all for it. And I'm a person that believes in taking an investment in yourself. So I went to the seminar with my team, my people, my mentor, my girlfriend, and uh, some investors that are already investing. We hear the presentation and we are like, okay, all our minds are on edge now. We're like, let's do it. There's about 50 people in this seminar, okay? And I'm not gonna name the seminar. I'm not gonna name where, what it was, but I am just gonna say about 50 people. And here's what happens. As soon as you you hear, hey, there's going to be a program, there's gonna be an upsell, it's, it's a giving. You know that that's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know why people don't think that that's gonna happen. You know, 20% of the people leave. But the information is so good that people are really thinking and conjuring and saying, okay, should I just take that next dive into this and get these tools and, and get a, a process for real estate, for investors, for realtors, for anyone that wants to just take their business further, take themselves further and put in the work. That's really what it is. So of course me and my team, it was, it was a no brainer and we decided to invest in the program. Cool. So the presenter says, Hey, listen, you know what? We have dinner for you guys. I mean, it was a box lunch. Like there was a sandwich in there, apple, you know, we have dinner, but they want you to kind of stay there. So they're saying, Hey, we have dinner. So, you know, come back. If you don't want to come back, we're going to finish the presentation, but we have dinner and that's what it is. So we purchased, we invested, we invested in ourselves that night, me and my girlfriend. And, you know, we're over there talking and we go, I go outside. I said, Hey, the first thing that we have to do when we get home is set some tangible goals okay set some tangible goals for this uh for our next for our next phase of this you know we have to do we have to put our work in so let's go home and set the goals in so we had a private conversation outside we walk back in a lady stops us a lady stops us and says did you buy the program did you buy the did you did you and i said yeah i did you know and I, I don't know where she's coming from i'm just like yeah you know i bought i, I bought it and she said Mm, this is the first thing she does. Mm, um, I bought it before and I'm trying to get my money back and that's why I'm here. So I'm like, okay, wh when did you invest in it? Months ago. She's trying to get her money back. That's why she's here. So she's like, what's going to happen is this and this and that. And she's going on and on and on and on about why this thing does not work. Now for a second, you know, because I have my, I have my binoculars on, I was able to say, whoa, something ain't right here. So I just said, okay, thank you for the information. I appreciate it. What's your name? She told me her name. Okay. That's it. I appreciate it. I went back to my seat. I'm talking to my girl. My girl's now, she, she's like, yo, stays. Well, what is, what's up? What's up? And I was like, ah, nah, don't worry about that. So here's how you spot them. Okay. Um, I went ahead and told, you know, my mentor told my group, hey, you know, there's a there's a chick in here. You know, she's saying this and that about the program. You know, my girl over here looking, you know. So um, they said, you know, and mind you, people that are there and that are in my circle, they got it, okay? They got it. They're going to get it more of it, okay? So my mentor said one line that was just like, I don't know what bus she came in on, but... You can't, we can't follow her lead, her, her, her binoculars, her seeing her, the way she sees life is in a negative space. So here's reason one, a one, one, a, they won't tell you how many times they've given up. So if you're, you're dealing with an naysayer, they're telling, they're not telling you how many times they've given up. They're not telling you how many times they invested and given up 
in a very short amount of time. They don't like putting in the work. So they're not going to tell you that. Number two, they are always focused on some negative aspect cannot be positive. There's no positive aspect here. And I'm going to tell you the real cruncher soon, okay? So two, always focused on some negative aspects. She's focused on the negatives. Why would you do it? Okay, this is what happened to me. This, they suck and this and that and that and that. I didn't get this and that and that. And going on and on with all this negative aspect about this thing. Three, they don't want to see you succeed or do better than them. And Drake has said this in a song, and I forget the song now, but I really like that line because once people start seeing you doing better, doing something that may advance yourself, and and your and it could be outlined. Your, these these naysayers could be your friends, family, could be those that you're working with, telling your dreams, telling your goals, and they're like, oh hell no, this ain't gonna work. So imagine who's around you spitting all of these things right here. Number four, they they, they are one uppers, okay. Now, she wasn't a one-upper. She was just a downer. But a one-upper is someone that you tell them what you're doing or you tell them how good your day is. You tell them that you're working on this class and they always got to be better. So they, they're trying to one-up you all the time. You know those types that try to one-up you. It's like kids, you know? I got this. I, you know, my mom bought me the backpack. Well, my mother bought me the Adidas backpack plus the Adidas. Well, my mom got me this. Oh, well, I got this video game. Now I got that. You see what I'm saying? It's this one upper mentality, which is really a childish mentality when I think about it. Because, I, you know, the one uppers, I remember those in middle school and freaking high school. Like, oh, you always got to, like, I'm saying it's a beautiful day. And you're like, yeah, yeah, but it's a be I was, you know what I mean? Like, what, come on, let's figure it out. Number five, they keep bringing up how they will go about it. How they will go about your thing. <laughs> they keep, think about this. They keep bringing up how they will go about your thing. So they say something like this. If I were you, this is what I would do. If I were you, I wouldn't even spend that money there. I would just get that other thing and then do this. If I were you, I wouldn't get the lawnmower. If I were you, I wouldn't get it from there. I would go over here and get it. But bro, here's the bottom line. You're not me. And, and now you're just a naysayer. Because it's everything I'm saying is like, you're like, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Because if I were you, I would do this. Okay. You're not me. So here is the funny part of this whole story with the whole workshop and the, the whole thing. You got a lady that was there sitting down and she was in the front row. She ate the freaking food from the front row. If you feel so bad about how this thing does not work and how you want your money back, where do you think that your time, your best time should be invested in? Where do you think, do you think that you're going to be on tour going around doing this, telling other people that's not the best use of your time? Because if this, if you really want your money back, put the effort in, get successful. You see what I'm saying? The best revenge is success. So if you really want to show them that they were wrong, go get major success. You can't go out there and try to stop people and block people from getting success. And listen, I'm talking you deep now because maybe sometimes we are the own, our own naysayers, our biggest naysayers ourselves. Because the naysayer could only do so much. They could only come into your circle, right? They could, they could, they could ruffle the, the, the leaves real quick, ruffle the feathers, make some waves. But then you have to take that on and actually talk yourself out of something. Actually stop doing that goal. Actually, you know, just, just quit on your dreams. You have to stop that. That's not them. Don't get it twisted. They could come in and ruffle feathers, but you have the last say in what the naysayers are about because we are our biggest naysayers. Don't you understand? Cut the killer. Now, what I'm trying to do is give you the armor, give you the tool so you could spot them and then you could drop them. Okay, crush their gloom. It's not even a problem. They're going to be around. We need the balance. The yin and the yang. The dark and the light. The positive, the negative. So don't try to, you're not going to eradicate them. But what you're going to do is heighten your senses, thicken your mindset, because this is going to happen but you're going to be able to spot them now. So let me run through them again. Number one, they won't tell you how many times they've given up. They will not tell you that. She will not say, hey, you know what? I didn't put the effort 
in the program. I didn't go, I didn't, I couldn't make it to the workshop. Hey, I didn't have the uh, energy to do it. I didn't know what I was doing. They won't say how they failed, but they'll say how someone else have everyone else is making them fail. It's so crazy, right? Think about it. All right. Two, always focused on some negative aspect cannot be positive. They just cannot be positive. I'm sure there was a few positive things because why is your ass sitting back in that seat, eating that food up front row, listening to the damn presentation? That's a waste of time. If you have that kind of feelings for that, that program or whatever, you're not going to go back there. You're going to chalk up your L and you're going to keep moving. That's the thing. I talked about resiliency in my Facebook feed. So you probably need to just go check that out because you talked about resilience and how to, to how to beef up your resilient state. Okay. Number three, they don't want you, they, they don't want to see you succeed or do better than them. Okay. That's what's causing a lot of fear out here. If people watching other people, I, Denzel Washington today said something amazing. Denzel Washington said, it's not a race, bro. It doesn't matter how many likes you got. You continue to drive and stick to your lane, putting your best foot forward day by day, and you, you, you'll be all right. Okay? It's not a race, man. Stop. St you create a lane. There's five billion lanes, seven billion lanes. Okay? And maybe less in your space. So in your industry, it may be a hundred million lanes. Stay in your lanes to keep hopping over on lane to lane. No wonder you're running out of gas. Okay. And that's just, that's just real. Number four, they're the one uppers. So there's, there's one uppers in here. Okay. You're a naysayer. If you try to one up me, why just leave it. I says what I said, just leave it alone. You don't got to try to one up me. This is not a competition. This is me just being feeling good about what's going on in my life. Okay. No need to one up. And number five, keep bringing up how they will go about your thing. You know, if I were you, if I were you, here's a bonus though, because you stuck around and, it, and, I, and I appreciate you. And because I want you to grab my book, right? Your journey to success, how to change your life. Go to the comfortkillers.com though, to pick up this book. Uh, you could pick up an option where I sign the book and give you a nice message on a book. So jump on the comfortkillers.com right now. In fact, on the comfortkillers.com, the comfortkillers.com link is below. I have these comfort killer journals. I want you to get start, started writing, pick that up, pick up the book. And if you, oh my God, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I got this shirt. You kill time. We kill comfort. Very rare. Cause I don't have a lot of sizes left with the book, with the journal. And that's one bundled price. So jump over to the comfortkillers.com right now and check out all of what we got going on. And here's the bonus, okay? They offer unsolicited advice. I didn't ask this lady. I didn't ask her from Adam. I was out there talking goals, walking back in. I didn't ask her for her opinion, and she offered it up. It was unsolicited, and um, I, I catch offense to that. So anyone out there offering unsolicited advice, telling you what they would do is a naysayer. Now, some of the advice may be really good, right? And you're like, man, don't act on anybody's advice, okay? Just do the research yourself, right? Because you have an intuition. What does your gut say? Follow your gut in this. So comfort killers, there you have it. Five ways to spot a naysayer and how to crush them, how to drop them how to crush their gloom, their energy, their spirit to not let it affect you, how you could keep moving on, moving forward, moving through, getting things done. I appreciate you. Hey, do me a favor, subscribe. Make sure if you're not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Not playing with you. I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. Until next time. Peace. It's Mercury rising. 88B voice soul session. I'm shocking and I'm jobbing.